Bubbles. Polyurethane starts off as a liquid, all right? Part A and part B. And when you mix them together, you get a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction has two effects, heat and it expands. We're all going to mix these up. Now, this is what is going to be happening underneath the slab in a few moments. So you'll have a good visualization of what is occurring. While everything can mix, it expands. It's 25 to 30 times its original volume. And unlike mud jacking or slab jacking in the past, where you injected a mud and created almost a cone that lifted the slab under pressure, potentially cracking it, the polyurethane goes underneath as a liquid, spreads evenly, and creates a pillow that literally lifts up the slab. Now, the process is almost the same. You drill, you inject it, and you patch. And we're going to show you. We're going to drill this slab with a 5 8 inch bit. Now, the 5 8 inch bit is very important. Make a big thing about it because, in reality, in history, all the other methods for raising concrete required people to drill holes that were 1 and 5 8 inch. And they had to drill a lot of them because the mud did not spread that far. In this case, we're drilling one small hole in this particular sample we're giving you, or less hole, always smaller, which is a less intrusive, ugly, finished product that your customer will like. Jason's now inserting an injector port into the hole. This is going to allow him to attach our patented tip to the polyurethane gun so he can begin injecting. Now, a lot's going on behind the scenes. When I finish, you can see the reactor inside this trailer, which is mixing the polyurethane to an exacting level and also heating the polyurethane, separated still part A and B through a heated hose which gets mixed at the point of the tip of the gun just before the liquid goes underneath the concrete. He gave it a quick burst so he could make sure his port was clear so the gun didn't back up. And now he's beginning to eject polyurethane underneath the slab. That liquid is permeating all the crevices and opening in voids underneath the slab and sealing them. Remember I said at the beginning, when you mix, mix polyurethane, you get heat. What's happening here is the reaction and the heat caused by it is affecting the moisture underneath the slab and you're seeing steam come out the joints. Jason, Jason is guiding the lift and measuring the lift with the finger of his right hand. Right now he's going to try and match this joint right here. Jason's got about a three-quarter inch lift on that slab. He's now satisfied with his work. And the, now the maintenance, the tough maintenance program begins. He, un he takes his gun off of the shirt. He then puts a tab of grease on the tip of the gun, and he's ready to go to the next job. The maintenance is just that easy. The unused polyurethane stays inside the hose. No material is wasted. He's now gonna, he's now gonna remove the injector port of the surf from the concrete. He's gonna patch the hole with ready mix. He's gonna go collect his check for the work he's done, and he's ready to move on to the next job. Just that simple, that fast, that easy, and specifically that clean. Now the trailer package was designed specifically for a one-man crew operation. We consider it the ideal process for adding an additional service to your existing business where one man crew can operate or to start a new one-man owner-operated business. Now at HMI, we believe you really should understand the process completely before you invest. We run monthly training seminars at our headquarters in our training center in Wisconsin. 
have no obligation. Sign up, run the equipment, learn the process, learn the physics. We'll help you develop your own business plan for your each individual markets and then make your investment when you're ready.